Earth is a very big place. It is about 25,000 miles or 42,000 kilometers around at its middle. And most of it is covered by oceans of salt water. For thousands of years, the oceans kept almost everyone from reaching the faraway places on the other sides. But all that started to change about 600 years ago when the age of exploration began. The age of exploration was the time when explorers in newly invented sailing ships set out from Europe to find new trade routes to Asia. Wherever the explorers went, they made maps of the places they discovered and founded European settlements thousands of miles across the sea. The age of exploration lasted for about 300 years. It changed how people lived in many ways. But have you ever wondered what things were like 600 years ago before this age began? At that time, on the continent of Europe, rich lords lived in big castles guarded by knights who fought with swords and wore armor to protect themselves. Nearly everyone in Europe was a Christian, and the churches they built were almost always the biggest and the most beautiful buildings in town. Back then, most European people were poor and worked hard for little pay on farms owned by the rich lords. Very few of them could read or write, and they had hardly ever traveled more than a few miles from their homes. But 600 years ago, not everybody in the world lived like they did in Europe. People on other continents had different religions, lived in different kinds of houses, wore different kinds of clothing, and had very different ideas about the world in which they lived. But no matter where they lived, most people of that time had no idea of what things were like in other parts of the world. Most of them thought the world was flat. And when the age of exploration began 600 years ago, the best map of the world looked like this. This map hadn't been changed for a thousand years and was full of mistakes. The reason it had so many mistakes was that, except for a few traders and soldiers, people really hadn't been very many places. Because up to that time, they hadn't invented a lot of the things that they needed to travel far away across the seas. In fact, it was because people in Europe managed to invent certain things that the age of exploration was able to happen at all. One new invention of this time helped people to share their new ideas and discoveries. That invention was a printing press which let books be made for so little money that average people could afford to buy them. Because before the invention of the printing press, every book had to be slowly copied by hand and they were very expensive. Once new books books could be easily purchased, new ideas spread much faster than before. Some of these ideas resulted in new inventions that made it possible to cross the seas. For example, they invented instruments for navigation that helped sails keep from getting lost when they were far away from land, and they invented new ships called caravels which were fast and could carry enough water and supplies so that people were able to make long ocean voyages. Here we see a ship that looks quite a bit like one of the first caravels. It is a copy of the Mayflower, the ship that brought the pilgrims to New England. Two hundred years after the age of exploration began, other things were invented that help people explore other hidden parts of the world and the universe. The telescope gave people a new view of other planets. 
Telescopes also help to warn explorers of dangerous rocks in the water and let them see things on the shore without having to get off the ships. The invention of the telescope was followed a little later by the invention of the microscope, which let people explore a magical world of tiny creatures that people hadn't even known about before. But even though they had a lot of new inventions, the age of exploration began, the Europeans weren't thinking much about discovering new lands. What they really wanted was to find new sea routes from Europe to the faraway parts of Asia, places such as India, China, and Japan. The reason they wanted to go to these places was that these countries produced things the Europeans wanted. Things like spices, such as cloves, nutmeg, pepper, and cinnamon, that were used to preserve meat in an age without refrigerators. The Asians also sold rich silk cloth from which fine clothing could be made, and jewels such as rubies and emeralds, as well as beautiful objects made from porcelain. The Europeans knew they could get rich by selling these things in their own countries. The problem was that they had no way of getting to Asia. This was because all the trade routes between Europe and the Far East passed through regions controlled by people of the Muslim religion. And for centuries, the Muslims and the Christians of Europe had been at war with each other. Six hundred years ago, many of the rich treasures from Asia were carried by Muslim traders thousands of miles west on an ancient trade route to the Mediterranean Sea called the Silk Road. Most of the Muslim traders used camels to carry the silks and other trade goods because camels could cross dry, rugged land without a lot of trouble and could go a long time without water. But most of the valuable shipments of the Asian jewels and spices came west in small ships owned by Muslim traders that crossed the Indian Ocean, sailing as far as the Red Sea ports of Egypt, where their ships had to be unloaded, and the shipments carried by camels across the desert to the Nile River, where they were carried again by ship down the river until they reached ports of the Mediterranean Sea. As you can imagine, it was a lot of hard work and took many, many months for the Muslim traders to bring Asian goods to the West. So it is no wonder the Europeans thought it would be easier to bring trade goods to the West simply by sailing their large ships around the tip of Africa to Asia, filling them with spices, silks, jewels, and porcelain, and then sailing back home again. But 600 years ago, no ship from Europe had ever sailed more than about a thousand miles or about 1,600 kilometers down the African coast. But now we can understand the reasons why Europeans started exploring the world almost 600 years ago. First, because they wanted to find new sea routes to Asia so they could get rich by trading in fine Asian goods. Second, because they had just invented ships that could carry large crews and big shipments long distances. And third, because they had developed instruments for navigation that helped keep them from getting lost when they were far out at sea. So it was these three things that blended together to help human beings explore the far reaches of the earth and to create what was beyond a doubt one of the most amazing times in history, the Great Age of Exploration. True or false? 600 years ago, the trade between China and Europe was controlled by Christians. True or false? Caravels were special printed books 
used by explorers. True or false? Navigational instruments help sailors from getting lost at sea. True or false? Oxen were the main animals used to carry goods on the Silk Road between Asia and the Mediterranean Sea. True or false? 600 years ago, the best map of the world is over 1,000 years old.